Hello and welcome to episode 65 of Learn, Do, Become Radio. I am April Perry and today we're talking about how to organize your mind using three very simple categories. Here at Learn, Do, Become, we help people who are drowning in the details of life to create simple systems so that we can do what matters most. But we're not just sharing a bunch of random organization ideas or random thoughts. We actually have a very specific system that is tried and true that has worked for hundreds of thousands of people. And today we're going to share the very, very basics. So if you're just getting started, you can kind of wrap your brain around how it works. And if you've been with us a while, you can just take some time to review what you've learned and to think about how you're actually implementing it right now. When you have a system in place, the stress goes away. I totally understand how it feels to have a whole lot coming at you. We have four children. Eric and I run our business from home together. We are very involved in our community. We want to thrive. We want to enjoy our lives. We want to be of service. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. But because I have this system in place, I can do the things that really matter without sacrificing my personal health or the strength of our family and our marriage. And I want to show you how this can have a huge impact on you, your family, your business, and all the goals that you're working towards. Now, several years ago, I compiled all my lists into one spreadsheet because I felt like I needed something to capture everything that needed to get done. And I ended up with a very impressive mass of ideas. Now, it did feel good to write everything down, but do you know what happened? You can probably guess. (laughs) I never even wanted to open the spreadsheet. It literally made me sick to my stomach to see so many tasks in one spot. And I had two little children at the time. Eric was in grad school and I felt like I just can't keep up. I'm overwhelmed. I might as well not even try. Now it's totally opposite now, but here's the thing. Most of us have been taught to have some kind of a calendar or some kind of to-do list, maybe a filing cabinet, that we never use for filing. We just stick things in it and then we never empty it and we never clean it. And whoever feels like filing papers, right? But everything else ends up in piles. And then we have organized piles and then they go around the perimeter of our office or the perimeter of the bedroom. Or we've had people come into our program who have piles in bathrooms. Literally, they don't even have, they have bathrooms they don't even use because they're just covered with stuff. So if you're thinking, yep, I get it. I have piles everywhere. (laughs) Rooms, cars, the trunk of my car, my garage, (laughs) my kitchen, everything is one big pile. Some people even put piles in the microwave. I mean, it's pretty funny, but piles end up all over the place. So what does it look like to actually organize your mind? I read the book Getting Things Done by David Allen about 10 years ago, changed my life. I started applying what I learned and adding to it things I learned from other professionals. And then I realized that that sick feeling could actually go away and I could get more done than ever before. So the three categories that I use and I'm going to teach you and that I teach in our program, our Steps to Everyday Productivity Program, are as follows. Okay, so number one, category number one is things that we engage with on a daily basis. Okay, number two, things that we engage with on a weekly basis. And then category number three are things with which we engage as needed. And I'm going to walk through and explain what those look like, what they are. But if you want to see a couple of little fun videos, go to our show notes page. If you're on your phone right now, just pull it up so it's open. It's learndobecome.com forward slash episode 65. The number six, number five, okay? Episode 65. I actually started teaching this about 10 years ago, and I have one of my original videos. I recorded it sitting on the floor in my living room, and I had a little whiteboard, dry erase markers, leaned against my piano. It's sitting on my little piano bench. I'm sitting on the floor making this little video. I think my kids were napping at the time. And this is something that I taught in a program I used to promote called Mind Organization for Moms. Now, Mind Organization for Moms has transitioned into STEP, Steps to Everyday Productivity. It's for all people, whether you have children or not. But the key is if you are feeling overwhelmed and you need a system, this is for you. So on that show notes page, you can see a little, I think it's a seven or eight minute video where I explain how it works. And then you can see our updated version that I created just, I think a few months ago, showing how that has transitioned into our step command central. It's kind of fun to see how these principles have not only worked for me for more than a decade, 
but it has grown where we've literally reached millions of people around the globe and we have tens of thousands of people already in our program. So this works. And it's not just me. It's because I'm building on the shoulders of giants. People like David Allen, people like Stephen Covey, people like Fly Lady and Julie Morgenstern. I have learned so much and I'm thrilled to be able to show you what this looks like. On the show notes page, you can also see a visual representation of what it used to look like when I made it with dry erase markers and what it looks like now that we've hired a designer to kind of put it together. Still very visual, but you can see how I've changed a couple of things and tweaked it over the years. But for the most part, it's completely consistent and it works and it's amazing. And I want you to apply it to your life as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk through in this podcast what the step system components are, because you might be wondering, okay, what is it that millions of people have seen and tens of thousands of people are actually <laughs> processing and what they're creating on their desk? What is this command central? What's it made of? How does it work? Why is this different from everything else I've tried before? And I hope that you'll come to the show notes page and check it out and experience it. <laughs> and I hope you'll be as giddy and as excited about it as I am. Because this is the secret sauce. This is the foundation for all those things you want to accomplish to be able to have it in order. If you want to get out of the overwhelm, I am telling you, this is one proven way that works. Now, I'm sure there's other ways too. So there are other people who are not overwhelmed, who are not in my program, and that's okay. But this is one way that works. And my goal is a step command central on every desk because I genuinely believe it will change the world. So in our current diagram of our step program, on the very far left, we have a column called stuff. And we just included a few pictures there, little icons, things like your snail mailbox, right? When you go check the mail each day. Uh, things in, like your phone, maybe the text messages that come in or the reminders that pop up or things that might come through on social media messages. We have a little light bulb to think about the ideas that you have. We generate ideas every day, maybe while you're exercising or when you're doing laundry or when you're setting something up for a meeting, you'll have a new idea. Plus, there's just those constant messages that might come in through either uh, post-it notes or <laughs> things like your text, right? All those things that come in. There's kids' backpacks. If you have children, when they get home from school, most of the time they have something they need you to sign or something they need you to look at, okay? And just things like your phone at home. All right, so we've got just stuff. And we'll probably change the icons as we go. I don't even have a home phone anymore, so <laughs> let me change those, okay? But all of us have stuff that comes into our lives. Then what we want to do is organize that stuff into the daily, weekly, and as needed categories. We've created a little icon called landing spots, which is something that we teach inside our program, how you want to have just a few landing spots, just a couple of places where you look on a regular basis to make sure that everything is coming in, everything is covered, nothing slipping through the cracks. You don't want kids throwing papers at you while you're sitting on the couch. You don't want to have a whole bunch of inboxes to go check. So you want things consolidated as much as possible, right? And then I'm just going to walk through the engage daily, weekly, and as needed. Okay, so engage daily. First is your calendar. This can be paper or digital where you record appointments or tasks that must be done that day. The key is to keep your calendar simple, open like a canvas, all right? Even my calendar right now, I have kind of a busy day today, but everything on the list makes sense with my schedule, my energy level, all the different things that I have on my plate. Number two for daily, is your context-based next actions list. This is something that you really might want to look at or learn more about. So if you haven't yet attended our free training, go to learndobecome.com forward slash step. We'll show you how to actually create that and go into more depth because most people have a handful of questions and we've answered all of them in the class. But this is a little paper or digital list that you keep with you at all times that contains a short list of very specific next actions for that week. And they're recorded in the following contexts. So context, it just means where you are when you're doing them. So we have home, phone, errands, computer to discuss. If you've read David Allen's Getting Things Done, he describes this in detail there. And the concept of what a next action is, is fully explained in the book, or we also cover it briefly in our free class. Okay, number three emails to zero. <laughs> Using the folders and processes that you learn in our program, module one will show you how all that works. 
You keep an eye on incoming messages and you respond as needed. The goal is that you want to feel so good and so clear and so amazing when you process your emails that you don't use your email inbox as a task list. Now, I'll tell you a little secret. We actually do have this very first part of module one free for you. If you go to learndobecome.com forward slash inbox hyphen Z-E-R-O inbox hyphen zero. Okay. You can go explore that. (laughs) It's amazing. You can do it 90 minutes or less. All right. And then number four for daily landing spots. So in the next step of module one, we help create a consolidated list of places, things you check each day, make sure nothing slipped through the cracks. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier. Okay. So really that's all that you have for daily calendar, context-based next actions list, emails to zero, and landing spots. And that feels good. You feel like, okay, my brain can actually wrap itself around those four concepts and it's not that hard. Next, we have engage weekly. This is the next column. So first we have an inbox. This is just a little paper tray that you keep right on your desk or in a central part of your workspace. I have a very simple white inbox. We can link to all of my command central resources. But I love it because when someone gives me something that doesn't have to be handled right away, but could wait until my weekly review, it just goes into the inbox. Number two, you have a current projects list. This is a digital or paper list with about seven to eight projects that you're working on that month, but they're divided into three categories. And this is where I do it a little bit different than David Allen. He doesn't have subcategories, Lisa, he explains in his book, but I do for me, for my family, And then beyond, like beyond the home, beyond my personal or family life, that most often involves professional or volunteer work. But when you have a current projects list and you have it divided, and then you keep the total at about seven or eight, that's a little tweak that I found has made a huge impact because then I have a balanced life. I'm not neglecting myself. I'm not neglecting my family. I'm getting my work projects done consistently, but none of it feels overwhelming. Number three for the weekly section is your routines and responsibilities list. This is a digital or paper list that has regular routines in your life that need to happen daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, and yearly. We have a lot more on routines, some that we've already talked about here on the website, so you can just do a search on learndobecome.com, search routines, and see what else we've got there for you. Number four is a waiting list. I love this because oftentimes there's a paper or an idea or something and you can't move forward with it or project you can't complete until someone else does something for you or for the project. So you can put these things on a waiting list, have a little calendar trigger to remind you to check up, or you can just check in on it on your weekly review. Number five is goals. This is where we record, hey, what do you want to learn? What do you plan to do? Who do you want to become? And we review those weekly because the more we're really looking at these goals, the more we're going to be moving towards them. And I know there's a lot of people out there with great suggestions on how to record your goals, how to see your goals, how to keep them in front of you, how to move forward on them, how to make them bigger. (laughs) It's really fun. So you can apply anything that you've learned from others out in the productivity space to create this awesome goal list that you review each week. And then number six is your read and review. Now, I used to put this on the as needed list. So when you come to the show notes page, uh, the learndobecome.com forward slash episode 65. When you go there, you're going to see that read and review used to be on as needed. Now I've moved it to weekly. The reason why is because I didn't want the read and review to become stagnant. I didn't want it to become like a filing cabinet. We want this to be things that we want to look at and clean and purge on a weekly basis. So if you've got a catalog or you've got a grocery ads or um, a manual for something you just bought, You can put that in read and review and it's active, okay? So the goal is active, (laughs) okay? Now let's move to engage as needed. All right, so number one, we have the filing cabinet. This is your long-term storage, mostly for reference. If you have not utilized freedomfiler.com, it's the best thing that's ever happened to my filing cabinet and we recommend it and our community loves it. 
So freedomfiler.com will save your life. Number two, these are your support materials. Now I use a set of cubbies. I got these awesome white cubbies from Michael's. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. They're on Amazon. We've got links to them there. They're amazing. But having a little set of cubbies or a series of file folders or a collection of small boxes that are designed to hold these materials related to your current projects or your regular routines, it's going to help you actually have a place to put things that you're going to work on at a specific time. The goal is when you sit down and you say, okay, I'm working on this um, lecture that I'm giving next Thursday, or I'm putting together a a lesson for this volunteer activity, or I'm working on um, some plan for our home, like we're going to repaint, we're going to do something there, or I'm working on a new membership for our website. I can go to my support materials and I have everything in organized folders and I can just pull out what I need. These are not in the filing cabinet. I don't put them there because they're active. They're current projects, they're current routines. And I don't wanna go digging through a filing cabinet that has old report cards in it. I want to open up my current project support materials and just say, here is what I'm doing right now. And it's lovely and it's fun and it feels fresh, okay? Number three is your tickler file. This is just a small folder or a set of folders. I use 12 and they hold materials related to and referenced on a specific date on the calendar. I just recorded a video where I talked about how a tickler file works. So we'll put the video links in there as well, (laughs) but it's so fun. The tickler file, I know it sounds weird. People wonder what it is, but it's amazing. Okay, so you need to get one of those. Number four, for engage as needed is your someday file. And number five is the incubation file. I have these in the same magazine holder that I put on my command central. Someday means you've made the decision you really want to do it, but you can't do it right now. Incubation means, uh, I don't know if I want to do it or not. Now, to be honest, my incubation file is somewhat of a black hole, but I'm okay with that. It's something like, oh, I might need this, but I don't think I do. Just stick it in incubation. And then when someone asks for it, if they ask for it later, you say, oh yeah, I incubated that and just go grab it. Most of the time though, you won't need it. All right, so isn't that fun? That's it. Those are the three categories, engage daily, engage weekly, and engage as needed, that actually will resolve the overwhelm and resolve the stress. So right now, as you're thinking about those piles of paper that are sitting on your desk or thousands of emails in your inbox or the swirl of ideas in your head, when you learn the system and we have a flow chart and we've got all the details and how to do a weekly review and how to maintain all that in the program, but when you have a system, then everything has a place. That is the moment that I knew I had learned and discovered and (laughs) found magic. Because when my mind could see there isn't one paper idea task project that is going to sit in limbo, that felt like heaven to me. Because the stress that we feel on a daily basis is that constant nagging and the wondering, ooh, do I need to do this? Oh, wait, hang on. Do I need to do that? That feels so overwhelming. But when you have an organized mind, it changes your life. You're going to love it. Can you tell how excited I am even after 10 years of doing this? So if you're already in our program, come log in. We've been getting so many people emailing us saying, okay, I'm ready to start again. I'm recommitting. I'm going to do it this time. And I love it. There is a ton of encouragement in our step mastery program. If you want to come in there, the Facebook group seriously is incredible. We have thousands and thousands of people who get you where you don't need to feel embarrassed if you have piles of stuff, even if you're thinking, well, I'm a corporate executive and everyone thinks I'm organized, (laughs) but you feel stressed. We're going to take care of you. So come join the program if you're not already. And if you are in the program, come use it. You get lifetime access. We want you to feel excited about your life. And I found that it's really hard to feel excited about your day when all you're doing is moving piles around in circles. Now, you know that, but you might think, it's just not possible. I can't get out of my piles. I promise you, you can. So come to our free class if you're new. LearnDoBecome.com forward slash step. If you are a regular member of our community, we love you. <laughs> so glad well, we love you if you're not. <laughs> but we're so happy you're here. Come check out the show notes page at learndobecome.com forward slash episode 65 to see those fun videos that I mentioned. I mean, really, it's kind of amazing. 10 years apart, I'm still teaching the same thing. I love it. And I really genuinely care about you. I want you to feel organized. I want you to feel peaceful. I want you to feel happy. Because you're going to do your best work in your family, 
and in your professional life and in the community and the world, if you can actually feel calm and have a clean, clear, organized life. Now you can have a great life if you're not organized, but I'll just tell you it's a whole lot easier when you are and we're here to support you. Okay, see you soon at learndobecome.com.